There were specific types, and if you think about it, it's more towards the back of the throat here. Mm -hmm. Mouth, tongue, tonsils, voice box, those are the big ones that were affected. And so, you know, what we don't know is why the marijuana is causing that, but why particularly in that area of the throat it's causing those types of cancers. Hmm. What if you do not smoke marijuana? We know a lot of people consume it with the edibles. What does that mean? Does this does that change things or your risk of cancer? And that's the big question that they weren't able to answer here because they found it through the cannabis use disorder, meaning they asked the question, how often do you use cannabis? But they didn't ask the question, are you smoking? Are oh. you edibling? How are you doing this? And so they don't know. Here is what we do know though. Cannabis itself has a hundred over a hundred types of cannabo cannabinoids and those are the chemicals THC CBD those types of things also has hundreds of other chemicals in there so we don't know if it's the smoke from the joint that's causing it we don't know if it's the, the other chemicals that are in edibles that are causing it we simply don't know why this is happening okay. and particularly why it's happening to them in that area huh. I mean it sounds like there's a lot of limitations to studies like this because yeah. you're saying we don't know much about marijuana in the first place we don't know based on the way the questions are asked that people are ingesting it in different types of ways but you know we also don't always know because people don't always self-report so right. what are some of the limitations in sort of expanding the, the results of this and that's the biggest limitation is self-reported so people don't necessarily tell you the most accurate information when you talk to them about it but they also didn't look at dosing they didn't look at frequency they didn't look at how it was ingested whether it was smoked whether it was eaten through edibles and so what we need to do is fine-tune it from here and I think the message here is giving is that you have to be careful with things like this a lot of times people and my own patients will tell well, it's natural. It should be okay. You have to remember, you're putting something in your body that has a lot of chemicals. Some of those chemicals might be helpful. Some of those chemicals might do nothing. And some of those chemicals might actually harm you. And I think we're finding out more and more about marijuana, particularly when it comes to heart health, when it comes to women's health, when it comes to cancer. Uh, it could be causing issues, especially if it's heavily used. So moderation is the key there. And people are starting to use it younger and younger in states where it's legal as well, and that's a factor as well. And the other thing is, remember, this is totally <laughs> the data. Marijuana 20 years ago is different than marijuana now. Right. Yeah, much more Thank you. Really good point. All right, Dr. Thank you.